All right, in this video, we're finding the pH of our solution here in our weak acid strong base titration when it's at equivalence point. An equivalence point is just when we have the same number of moles of acid and base that we've mixed together. So we know how many moles we had of our acid down here. Um, it was 0 0.2 molar times it was 0 0.05 liters, giving us 0 0.01 moles here, let's write that moles of acetic acid ch3 c o o h okay so now we need to know just how many mole or sorry how many liters of naoh we have to add so we know it's molarity it's 0 0.1 molar times some amount of liters and we need 0 0.01 moles of naoh Okay, well, we can just look at this. You can use your calculator if you want, 0 0.1. We're just going to have to multiply this also by 0 0.1 liters or 100 milliliters. All right, so that's cool. So we have our, uh, we have our chemical equation here already. So we can write now our table with initial change and equilibrium concentrations. So our, or in this case, actually, we're using moles. Sorry, it'll be a little easier if we do that. So we know that we're starting with 0 0.01 moles of each. 0 0.01, 0 0.01, where uh, we have no products to begin with, and this is a pure liquid, so we don't look at that. All right, so we know that we'll be able to react 0 0.01 moles because this is a one-to-one -one ratio, so our change will be we'll minus 0 0.01 moles of our reactants, and we'll be getting 0 0.01 moles of our products. So if we go and do this, we'll have 0, 0, and 0 0.01 moles. All right, so now this is what's in our beaker. We don't have any NaOH left. We don't have any acetic acid left. All we're left here is uh, this NaCH3COO and water. So first of all, let's find the molarity of this. Um, we can just write the molarity up here, let's say. Um, it will be 0 0.01 moles. And we're going to divide this by how many liters we had. And that was 0, 0.0. We had 50 milliliters and 100 milliliters. So we have over 0 0.15 liters or 150 milliliters. And this is going to give us, this is 0 0.067 uh, moles per liter. All right. So this is all we have in our beaker now, right? Nothing here, nothing here. Um, we just have this solution that's water and it's 0 0.067 molar NaCH3COO. Okay, so what we have to do now is we have to do another chemical equation um, where it's going to be dissociating in water or just reacting with water. So we can write this here. We'll have Na, uh, this is CH3COO plus water. H2O, and we will be getting, again, NaCH3COOH plus OH minus. Right? This, um, if it helps you to think about it this way, you can just kind of ignore the Na. These are just spectators. And this now just looks like a very simple uh, weak base uh, mixing with water equation. And actually, this would be equilibrium. Okay, so let's put in our values again. We had, here, let's change the colors. We had I, C, E. All right, so our initial concentration or, um, here is 0 0.067, like that. Water, don't count. And here we had 0 and 0 because those are our products. So we'll be minusing some amount and adding some amount here, and it's all one-to-one -one ratios because of the molar ratios here. Okay, so we can go ahead and just put this in as 0 0.067 minus x molar as our equilibrium concentration. And here we'll simply have x and x. This is molar, molar. All right, so what we know here is, well, um, here, let's just change colors again. Um, we can say that we know that our Kb is going to be equal to our conjugate acid, 
which is we call BH, times the concentration of OH minus, and this is all over our weak base. Right? And uh, if you're not sure, this is our, here we'll do it in red, this is our base, this is our conjugate acid, and this is OH minus. All right, well, we can find the KB uh, simply because we have here, um, we can find our KB value because we know that KW is equal to KA KB. And so that means that KB is equal to KW over KA. And KW is equal to one, um, one times 10 to the negative 14, 14 over our Ka of acetic acid, which was 1.8 times 10 to the negative 5 is equal to Kb. And we'll find that our Kb value is equal to uh, it's 5.6 times 10 to the negative 10. That's 10 to the negative 10. All right, we're running out of room here, so we'll just go down a bit. Um, <clears throat> Okay, so what we now have is we have KB, so what we can do is we can plug that value in as, oops, don't want that one, um, 5.6 times 10 to the negative 10 is going to be equal to these concentrations, which is x times x, so we'll have x squared, over our concentration of our base, which we had 0 0.067 minus x. And again, we've been doing this in the previous videos here. Um, I'm just going to draw right on the table here that this is more or less equal to 0 0.067 because the order of magnitude here of our Kb is on the order of minus 10, times 10 to the minus 10, where this is about times 10 to the minus 2. So huge difference here. So by subtracting this x, it's basically going to be the same as 0 0.067 no matter what we get. So we can make that assumption in this case, um, and we can say this is the same thing as basically just over 0 0.067, right? The concentration here, which we were saying is basically 0 0.067. Okay, so now if we just solve for x, 5.6 times 10 to the negative 10 times 0 0.067, take the square root of that, we're going to find that x is equal to pretty much 6.1, times 10 to the negative 6. Okay, so now we have our x value here, which is the same as this x value. All right, we'll just put a little arrow over there. So we know that our concentration here of, of OH minus is 6.1 times 10 to the negative 6 molar. And from there, what we can do is we can find our POH. Right, our pOH, not pH, this is going to be equal to the negative log of the concentration of OH minus. And so we'll have equal to negative log of this value here. This is our concentration, so that's 6.1 times 10 to the negative 6. All right, and this value here, our pOH is going to be equal to, <clears throat> this is 5.2, pretty much 5.2. So now what we can do, last step here to find our pH is pH is equal to 14 minus pOH. Anything to know? And from there we can have just 14 minus 5.2 and we'll find that at the end of all this, this is our pH is equal to about 8.8. .8. And this is the pH at the equivalence point when we've added the same number of moles of our acid and base. So I'll see you in the next video and we'll just do one more titration example um, with the same problem set, um, just looking at the pH at some point after the equivalence point.